Hello there and welcome to the next exciting episode of GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo Wii. We are done with the training, we are done with the practice, we are done with the tutorials. It is now time to move on with the actual meat of the game and start the story mode. Here's the mission select screen, a little spoiler there if you haven't played ahead in the game. From here you can redo a level on a different difficulty, or if you're crazy enough, try the time trials. But we're doing the story mode right now, and here's a cutscene, so enjoy. Begin secure transmission. Good morning, 007. For the past three years, a high-ranking Russian general, Arkady Arumov, has been stealing Russian military equipment and selling it on the black market. We have reason to believe he's about to ship a cache of high-tech weapons to a terrorist organization that has been targeting our embassies. Along with Agent 006, your mission is to infiltrate his base of operations, destroy the weapons cache, and, if need be, eliminate General Orgamov. Agent 006 has already surveyed the facility. Time is of the essence, 007. An unmarked cargo plane is already en route due to pick up those weapons for the terrorists in 45 minutes. Do you copy? Confirm. We're in position. Good luck, James. MI6, out. So there's the basic plot of the game so far, as we know it. Anyone familiar with the N64 version of GoldenEye will realize that M just detailed the first three levels for us. Unlike the N64 version, here are the three objectives for the first level, and I believe on the hardest difficulty on GoldenEye there were five objectives. But those are the three. Just download the flight plan, secure the footage, and get into the weapons facility. Here's more cutscenes. I promise the game's not going to be quite this full of cutscenes, but... Well, we're just starting the story. We need to work ourselves into it. Welcome to Russia. MI6 has given us the go-ahead on a mission. Let's wait until the last truck passes. I'll take the guard on the left, you take the one on the right. Now, let's go. No! I mean action! We are soldiers, not guards. We crave action. We live for action. We are men of action. There is no action here. This guy's about to get all the action that he wants. So, uh, your objective right now is to melee them. You look around, and right now I'm just pressing all sorts of different buttons trying to display that uh, the game absolutely wants you to melee them. So I go ahead and do that. Nice work, James. Just like old times. You take the tower, but watch out for that sniper. I'll get the truck. Now, unlike the GoldenEye game on the N64, you can't just go in there guns blazing. Well, actually, you really can, but that's not the recommended course of action. You can go down in the sewer, unlike the N64 game. There's nothing down there, though. It's just a little flavor. <laughs> so, right up here, we're having some guards having an argument over the checkpoints. Security has been tightened. Nobody gets through. Great. Fantastic. Why not take the food out of my mouth? Maybe my damn feelings while you're at it. Even when you're done under there, take a look in his mouth. All right. We will wait. Now, as soon as that conversation is over... Uh, that's me scratching my ear, sorry. As soon as that conversation is over, that guy up on the top is going to very slowly walk back around the tower. You want to make sure you're hidden from sight. Then, you want to walk around the front. I did this one part of the tower, of the level, so many times trying to find the right way to do it that, ugh, it was kind of difficult. You know, basically, no matter what happens, like even right here, you can hear the alarm going, and they know that we're here now. But every single time, no matter what I did, I would always get caught, so that alarm is always going to go off. If you can find any extra firepower in there. But basically, just do exactly what I did and you'll be fine. Can you handle it? There's some body armor here on the table. You're going to need the body armor, especially on the higher difficulties. And there are some guys over there. Now, 
any experienced sniper will tell you that the best idea is to snipe the guy in the very back if they're walking single file like this. That way the guys in front aren't going to notice right away, especially if your sniper rifle is silenced. But Goldeneye, nobody ever told Goldeneye that, so it doesn't really matter which order you take him out in. Killing the guy in the back, I obviously did nothing to conceal myself. And I'm having some difficulty taking that last guy out, but I eventually get him. I'm moving to the truck. Moving to your location. There's a gun rack down here, just in case you want some more ammo for your AK-47. And there's no, pretty much nothing else left in the tower, just go ahead and meet up with Alec at the truck. Nobody ever died being too careful. Words to live by. So how much do you know about Oromov? Only what I read in the dossier. But after the fall of the Soviet Union, he became jealous of the oligarchs. All their new money and went into business, freelancing for himself. Up ahead. The checkpoint. We're running six minutes behind. If anything goes wrong, be prepared to move. How's it rushing these days? Kaksip Dahar is sure. Hey, T! We hold these groups of Ica! What's your problem, Sergeant? Spets dostavka is Moskvy. 15 minutes, we come with the guests! Why I've never seen you before? You're new? Good to meet you. Let's get documents! I said, we hold these groups of Ica! Let's get out of here, Alex! Now we're not gonna... Go in there on foot, storm through the whole place like we did in Goldeneye for the N64. We're instead gonna hijack one of the trucks and then go through that. You've no doubt noticed a huge similarity between the two games in the first level. But obviously they they mix it up a little bit with the Wii remake. It's not exactly a cut, cut and paste job here. If you're not careful, Especially since I have that body armor, but if you're not careful, then those guys on the machine, on the trucks, they'll really rip you apart. So you gotta keep your focus. And that guy was always gonna show up there. You just gotta shake him off real quick, and he's gonna wish he didn't. Shoot that truck. Love that truck. I don't know, actually know why. Maybe it's because it was gonna cut you off if you didn't. RPG! There's this guy on the RPG, on the tower. I don't think you can actually take those. James, come on! Look! What the hell are they doing with one of those? We haven't the time. Let's go. Come on, James. Let's move! What the hell is happening up there? Have you heard anything new? Niet. Probably just another surprise inspection. They used to let us know beforehand, like we don't have enough to do already. Surprise inspection involving gunfire. Well, surprise. Did you see that helicopter? Yeah. What of it? It looked EMP hardened, designed to survive an electromagnetic pulse. The blast from the weapons cache will take care of it. I'm getting a picture for MI6. Don't waste your time. You'll be late reaching the rendezvous point. Get on with it. I'll cover you. Well, now we're done with cutscenes for, I think, the rest of the level, actually. Here is the game explaining to us that if there's a smartphone icon in the bottom right-hand corner, then there's another objective for you to complete nearby. Here's some more body armor if you need it on the table. You probably are. And here's eh, just me showing that there's pretty much no way anybody's going to hit anybody from that angle. So here's where that uh, uh, secondary objective is. There's that blue diode there. You whip out your smartphone and you interact with it. This is, I think it's deleting information. Yeah, erase the security footage right there. In this game, Daniel Craig uses his smartphone to get around while Pierce Bronson in the N64 game uses watch. I think it's kind of a step down if you ask me. That watch was pretty kick-ass. 
Smartphones are cool, but wa that watch, holy shit, that was a watch. Take out that guy, and then snipe these two guys. Do it quick, and do it right in the head, you don't want to waste any ammo, like I just did. And then don't step onto the road just yet, go right up, sneak up on these two guys right here. If you went onto the road, and you weren't fast enough to peek around the truck that they're standing right next to, they might turn around and spot you, and you don't want to set off any alarms, because you'll be surrounded real quick. Here's the AK-47, and here's the Cygnus. Do not ever take the Cygnus. Do not ever take the Cygnus. This is the game's club. The Cygnus is the club. It is the worst gun ever. It has such a tiny clip, it does little to no damage. I hate the Cygnus. Cygnus 9 is okay, but don't ever use the Cygnus. So we have two options here, we can open up this giant door by hammering on that button right there, but that's not very stealthy at all, is it? So instead we're gonna shoot off this lock, and we're gonna take the, uh, not the express route, but the super spy route, underneath the road. Just a quick rock, a quick jaunt through these sewers here, and we reach our next checkpoint. Now don't try to shoot that guy through the floor, he will hear you and your bullet can't go through the grating for some reason. Take up defensive positions. Go, go. Now see all these guys, they're standing there waiting for you to open up that big door, but you didn't. You want, you might want to shoot all of them, but don't because that guy will see it. So take him out first and then shoot the other three. Take out that guy first, and it doesn't matter which one you shoot here because the other one will notice. But just be quick. That guy was a fighter. But just be quick, and you won't set off any alarms. I don't really like how. Well, I, I don't know if I should say I don't like it, but. It ups the difficulty considerably when, uh. In the last game. In N64, the guard had to physically press a button or a camera had to see you in order for an alarm to go off, but not this time. Now, other than those pipes, I have no idea why those pipes are there. I mean, they're too far away to actually hit the guards. But other than those pipes, there's nothing up there, so just go on ahead here. Now, this part took me some doing to do. First, you want to snipe this guy. It's going to be really, really difficult to get a headshot on him from that distance, so don't bother, just pump him full of lead. And here we have two groups of enemies. Right now, uh, one scout, I suppose, one soldier, from each group is about to switch docks. So just let them go, don't try to shoot any anybody, they'll notice right away. And here's another guy standing where the first guy was. Just do the same thing, just pump him full of lead. Now we have two groups, one group of two, and another group of three. We could try to take them out, but it would be too much to trouble, so let's just blow up the boat. And these guys on the right, they give approximately zero fucks. Don't even care. So just blow them up too. They're probably going to wish they did. Now other than continuing right on right away, if you move over here, you're going to see a crate. Shoot off the lock here, and you get Sigmas with Reflex Sight. Uh, the Reflex Sight increases the accuracy of any gun that it's on by a little bit, but we're still not taking it because it's the fucking Sigmas. Fuck that. Still though, right now we're still doing pretty stealthily, we haven't set off any alarms yet, so we're gonna stick with our trusty silenced P99. Shoot off the lock there and walk down the steps. And we're introduced to a returning element from the first game, is cameras. Unlike the first game, it's gonna, you're going to see a green light that will tell you what uh, the camera can see. And here is a guy standing behind the door. We could open the door and take him out, but he'll hear it, and that's not very stealthy, so we're going to take this grate instead. That's much more stealthy. Once we're into the dam here, we still want to take him out because he'll probably see us. Hey buddy, take a bath. That's a hell of a way to go, really. Now as I was saying earlier about cameras, right there you can clearly see what their line of sight is, and just take it out. 
They're not gonna hear the camera exploding. Just take that guy out too. And this guy? Uh, not really worth the effort sneaking up on. Now we could uh, continue on through the upper, uh, over the upper walkway, or we could take the lower one here, and obviously the lower one is much more super spy-like, so we're gonna take that instead. But this actually has an impact on what you're gonna do on this room right here. If you took the other way, if you took the other way, these soldiers wouldn't see you necessarily, but that camera would. What? You trying to get me shot? At least then you would die like a soldier. Look, just be glad you are here, not in another Chernobyl. And here we have an option, well, not really an option, just to snipe him first and then take this guy out. That wasn't very subtle at all, subtle at all if you ask me, but whatever, it got the job done. Again, punch the hell out of those buttons, and we're taking the elevator up. Have you found your precious helicopter yet, Bond? Alex seems a little touchy about that helicopter. So we have two guards up on the railway here, and some more body armor if you happen to need it, if you trip an alarm. I haven't tripped any alarm yet. Ha ha ha. And here's a Pavlov with the thermal scope. The gun that we have right now is also a Pavlov, but it's actually better because it has a thermal scope and a silencer, and that other gun doesn't. Just a thermal scope. So you'll want this gun instead. You could still run up to the other Pavlov for the ammo. I forgot to reference it right here in the game, but uh, I tried, well I wanted to, look out over the over the lake to see if that weapons cache from the first game was still there. Like that little easter egg that you can sometimes get if you use the game shark. You can't really see it though because of the thermal scope. It would just come up as a big gray blob. But anywho, back to the mission. Here's that helicopter that Bond wanted to get to so badly, he's going to take some pictures. You press left on the D-pad on the Wiimote to bring up your smartphone for whatever whatever you happen to want it for. Taking pictures or hacking or whatever. When you finish with your holiday snaps, Bond, meet me at the rendezvous. We're running out of time. Now this guy, he always shows up as soon as that objective is completed. He just kind of materializes. And these two guys pretty much do the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to not get caught here. These guys will always want, will always see you. And you're always, always going to get into some kind of fight. It's still fairly easy to handle. I mean, it's only a couple guys and they're not going to set off any alarm. But I've tried again and again and again to not get caught by these guys. And it never works. But that's the end of that. And our objective marker says to go that way, 115 meters, but we're not. We're going to go this way instead. All the way to this other tower. I sped this clip up for you because you don't have to sit there the entire time watching me just run. And there is our flaming wreckage of our truck. There's something hiding in this tower, like a... Uh... Do you happen to remember what made our truck into that flaming wreckage? It was this. And we're probably not going to be using this AK-47 at all, so let's switch it out for the rocket. Unlike in the N64 game, you can only carry three guns. Two of them are, like, whatever you happen to pick up, and the third one will always be your P99. Kind of disappointing because I remember I have fond memories from the first game where uh, if you use the all-guns cheat, you suddenly carry around a tank turret, and you can fire the tank gun whenever you just happen to select it in the pause menu. Oh, that was brilliant. So, just out of curiosity, who wants to know how babies are made? Just like that. They just appear. So just to... Uh, uh, don't... If uh, you happen to play with me on multiplayer, don't... Don't pick a, a, a sniper map, please. I'm such a terrible sniper. I hate the jungle. The outpost is okay, but I I just suck eggs at the tro at the jungle. Not the best sniper. So after you take out those group of enemies that just materialize, you get three more here. One on the tower, one over there, and here's the third one hiding behind the truck. Perfect. Ah, oh, he just ducks. I get him in the leg, but that doesn't take him out, and he returns fire. Time to hide. 
God, I'm such a bad sniper. And with that, all of your resistance up to the next tower is gone. So you just uh, continue on ahead. Get over there. Onto your next objective. James, I have created a little diversion to cover our exit. The objective marker wants us to take this elevator, but our smartphone icon is on, telling us that there's another objective nearby. So let's no, climb up this tower and see what we can do. Have you seen the intruder? There's this guy on the radio calling Tower 2, asking if he's seen the intruders. Back up to your location. And here's what the rocket is for. From the I happen to miss one, but I take them out real quick. Don't worry about that. Tower two, no, there's nobody in Tower 2. So take a look at how powerful this thermal scope is. I can see him through the cinder blocks. That is a kick-ass thermal scope. And one more rocket. And that takes care of that. Just to make sure though. Double check and just to make sure I didn't leave anyone dead. Or alive rather. Doesn't look like it. But oh, oh I hear him coming up the stairs and I miss him completely, but it still takes him out. And there's that. Just uh, download whatever's on this diode here. And you've completed the objective. What we just downloaded was the flight plan for the airplane that M told us about. So, uh, when they're leaving, where it's leaving to, where it's going to, rather. <coughs> just uh, beat the hell out of that button. Head on down. James, Continue on with the objective. Have you reached the rendezvous yet? Reach the checkpoint, and we get another smartphone icon. There's another diode right there. But there's a bit of a problem with this diode. We cannot get close enough to approach it. Well, to download it, rather. There's this giant wall in the way. On the first run through on Goldeneye, this completely confounded me, but what you do is just shoot the lock from the inside. And then, just melee this guy. Multiple times I considered leaving him alive because he's not really in the way, but he comes back to bite you in the ass if you don't. If you want to download that diode, you have to come up close to him. Damn! You'd have thought that after the fall of communism, the Russians might have invested in some 21st century transportation by now. Now there's no way that you're going to get through this without a fight, so may as well be the instigator here. <clears throat> And the, the only thing that the alarm sets off is these two guys. So it's just a couple extra bullets. Ah, son of a bitch. And there you go. Oh, last guy. There. And now, there we go. All done. There's no more enemies here, so we just gotta... Go back upstairs and go to the diode and... Erase the rest of the security footage, and we ought to be good. We just gotta leave the dam after that. Like, if we didn't leave, if we didn't melee that other guy, he'd see us right here and he'd start shooting us. And here we are, in the other server room, ready to download the other diode, erase the, erase the security footage. They will never realize that we were here. And just a fun little fact once you download, once you erase all the footage, the servers turn red. The fun little thing. Hell you! Screw taking stairs, we're James Bond. Just moving on to the objective marker, and we are nearly done with this level. As the music ought to tell you, it's getting all tense and awesome, and I have no idea where I'm going. So let's head back. There's a flight of stairs right there. One common complaint with this game is that the lighting is really, really poor. Like, right now I'm using a bright filter to make it better. Just imagine what you're seeing right now, but darker, that's how bad it is. And over there is Alec. I wanted to help him out, but Alec already took it out for us. Just run up to him, and you've completed the level. Get your hands in the air! Take off your parachute. Hand it over. If you insist.
Nice trick. Doing it without a parachute. Trying to show me up? You said we were running late. Let's move. Hey, James. For England? For England, Alec. Always for England. Now, I'm not a physics major, and I don't really know a whole lot about dams, but I'm pretty sure that shouldn't have worked as well as Bond expected it to. And we, there we go, we have completed this level. Join me next time when we infiltrate the, uh, what is it, the, uh, whatever. Weapons facility, that's the word. See you then.